Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you Tuesday, 18 June, day before FOMC. Very muted, very dreary price action. Um, we had some negative, well, we had some dovish minutes uh, out of Australia. Aussie ticked down below this um, 65 level, which. Um, is important. Aussie looks like it's continue. It's going to continue to just descend lower on a slow, uh, sort of gentle manner. Um, we're not going to chase this year. We've had a lot of red bars now. One, two, three, four, five. Sort of six of the last seven red bars. Uh, no point in chasing Aussie lower. Euro Aussie popped through the highs again. Same type of scenario. We talked about how trendy Euro Aussie can be. Um, we do have resistance coming up in Euro Aussie uh, on 65.55. But really, not much to say today. We are just waiting and waiting and waiting for the FOMC. Let's see what the calendar has. I know we've got Draghi again today. I don't know um, what he could possibly say. We've got German Zoo, European CPI. Carney is speaking today. Nothing really out of the U.S. worth mentioning. Building permits and housing starts. Looks inevitably like we're going to have another quiet day today, so there's no reason to get too excited. As uh, the guys in America said, Hammond uh, resignation is kind of pushing uh, pushing this thing lower. Um, just chatter and just news flow now. Nothing really hard or concrete, but Sterling looks to be, um, well, this whole Boris Johnson thing and maybe possibility of a hard Brexit is being priced in here. So cable and euro sterling have made a bit of a move here. Euro sterling's up through that uh, 89.50 area. Don't trust either of these moves. We're not really on either of them. Uh, we're just watching, um, just kind of dribbling, right? I mean, the range today in euro sterling's 30 points, no big deal. The range today in uh, cable also 30 points. Printed that sort of shock low in Asia, which is never, um, never really a good idea to follow a big shock low in Asia. One twenty five eleven, kind of smacks of, of, um, of a sequence low after a long down move. Just the price one twenty five eleven and the timing of it in Asia. Let's be careful. Um, 125.43 on the way back up. Obviously, there's every chance that Carney could be hawkish today. Um, you just never know. I mean, the, there's been some hawkish numbers out of the UK, and there's been some dovish numbers out. If he is hawkish, uh, that actually um, that could be fun. So now I'm just uh, speaking out loud about this. BOE. Carney at 11 a.m. Let's watch that. This is quite stretched, this cable here. Um, and I don't think there's going to be a hard Brexit. So the idea of a hard Brexit, Brexit seems a bit silly. House of Lords is not going to let that happen. So let's keep an eye on maybe a cable snapback or a Euro Sterling snapback uh, going into today. I really don't know what to say uh, other than that. Um, very, very little energy. Euro, obviously, uh, tiny little range. 17, 39, 20 point range. Dollar Swiss, 71, 91. Dollar Yen came off a little bit because of the North Korean news about furthering their nuclear capabilities. Um, so dollar yen is a little bit lower, but the rest of risk did not follow. 
equities are just patiently waiting, uh, doing nothing, waiting for further news on Wednesday. EM also doing nothing. So really nothing to say here. Uh, I don't want to waste your time. We will be focusing on uh, Carney at 11 and maybe a snapback and cable. It does look, it just does strike me as a little bit extended um, on just nonsense, you know, garbage news out of the UK or potential garbage news out of the UK. Um, so that'll be of interest to us. Otherwise, uh, we will be trading very little, it looks like today, and saving up our energy and starting to put together some big trade ideas for tomorrow. I have a feeling that we will be um, selling 10-year bonds tomorrow uh, on FOMC, and this will be our trade of the week. Uh, but we still have to put some more thought into this. We might put a structure on. Um, we'll see. But we're expecting uh, FOMC to land on the more hawkish side than the market is expecting. Anyway, that's all I've got for today. Uh, cable is the main horse if we get a jolt from uh, Carney. Otherwise, uh, be patient. Vol is on its knees. Don't force anything now. Uh, save your bullets for tomorrow. All right. Good luck, guys. Ciao.